Hey there, my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm really excited to talk about all of the books that I would like to read in February or at least start. Quite a few of these books are going to be two month long projects. So while there is nine books on this TBR, there is no way I'm reading nine books in February, especially because there's quite a few chunky books here. So being quite aware that I will not read all of these. I am setting this as books that are at least going to be started in February and maybe we'll finish hopefully the majority of them. We'll see. Also I just wanted to say that I recently hit 1,000 subscribers and that is absolutely ridiculous to me. I cannot believe it. I do want to do some kind of celebration, possibly Q&A live stream maybe. Um, I don't have the community tab yet and once that does pop up and I can put up a poll, I will do that. And so I'm going to be asking you guys what you would like to see out of a few different options. So um, thank you so much. I cannot believe that there's this many people here and I'm just so happy that you are here with me and there are really not sufficient words to tell you how much I love this community and I love you guys. So thank you and um, look out for that poll which will be put up hopefully within the next week. But I'm sending you all so much love and hearts, thus the heart jacket. Sending my love to you. Also Valentine's Day is coming up but also let this sweater be an outward representation of my undying love for you, dear subscriber. Okay, I'm sorry, that went way too deep. Anyways, moving on. So I'm gonna start with the buddy reads that I have coming up, which there's a lot of them, guys. It's like most of the TBR. But one of my most anticipated buddy reads so far this year is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, maybe? Um, this is a historical fiction novel that I am buddy reading with Melissa from Libraries and Labradors and I have been so excited to get to this. I told Melissa I have been counting down the days until February because I'm really excited to first of all read some historical fiction for once in my life. Goodness gracious I haven't read any in a really long time. And then second of all to talk to her about this book and we are going to be doing a live show discussion of this as well on her channel. This is one of her channel buddy reads. She actually has a wonderful discord system for various books that she would like to invite people to buddy read with her. So if you are interested in buddy reading some things with Melissa, go check out her channel. And there is a discord group that is created by her that has a bunch of different books. You might be interested in one of those books if you're not interested in this one. Melissa's go-to genres are historical fiction and romance, so if that sounds appealing to you, definitely go check out Melissa. I just love her and her channel. She's so adorable and upbeat, and I just really like her videos. This is a World War II novel. I don't know a lot about it. It's a Pulitzer Prize winner, so that's pretty rad. I believe it's a dual perspective book, and we follow someone in France and also someone in Germany. I believe a girl in France who is blind and a boy in Germany who becomes a soldier. And uh, that's all I really know. I have started it. I'm about like 20 pages in. So just barely scratched the surface of it so far. I don't know very much yet. And again, if you would like to read this with us, there will be a live show discussion um, at the end of the month, I think on February 28th. I will link down specific information in the description for you, as well as Melissa's channel and her Discord buddy read group if you would like to go hang out with Melissa and talk to her about some books. The next buddy read slash read along that I have been waiting for and just itching to start is The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky and we are reading this with Christy Lewis, Codex Cantina, and Peg from the History Shelf. They are amazing people. They are all wonderful history scholars, literary scholars. Um, they are just 
the perfect group to read this with. And I'm so lucky that I get to do this. We already had an introductory live stream for this. So I'll link that down below if you would like to watch that. Crime and Punishment became one of my favorite books that I read last year. And I've heard that this one is even better. So I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally crack this baby open. Also, I wanna give a shout out to Codex Cantina. They created a before you read video for this, which is phenomenal. So if you're not sure you wanna read this yet and um, you're still kinda of wibbling and wobbling between the decisions, go watch their video. I think they will convince you. The next book I have here was also on my January TBR and I didn't start it yet. However, I do wanna prioritize this. I don't want this to be a book that I just kind of backburn for the whole month and then realize that I didn't get around to it. So February, this is going to be a high priority book for me. And that is, I can't even hold it up, it's really heavy. <laughs> Washington by Ron Chernow. Um, if I only finish those three physical books, that will probably be enough for February because look at this. This is like Brandon Sanderson size. <laughs> it's not far off from that actually. It's an 800 page biography and this is part of Ramsey's presidential read along. I heard about his read along and I was just so stoked about it. So February, this is up high on the priorities. Really interested in learning about George Washington and his life and American history because I'm not that well versed in like early American history and what was going on. I feel like there's so much I don't know. They're def actually not, I don't just feel like there's so much that I don't know. I know there's so much I don't know. And if I do conquer this chonker, <laughs> conquer this chonker, then this will also be my first nonfiction book of the year, which would be an amazing book to have that spot. So I'm gonna put this down because my hand is hurting, legitimately hurting. If there's one more book, that I wanna finish in February um, as one of my physical reads, it would be The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I would like to read this for both Michael Nipp's Patreon buddy read and also Vish's new channel read. Vish from Books with V just started a channel buddy read. She has a Discord as well. I'll try to link all these things down below. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be linking a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I will link that down below for you. Um, she has a Discord and this is her first um, buddy read pick for her channel. So I would like to read this because it's for both of their channel buddy reads. And um, I also happen to own it already. So that was lucky for me, but I've never read B.E. Schwab. I feel like she has a lot of really interesting story premises, but I just don't know if I'm gonna mesh with her writing just having not tried it yet. But reading this would help me with my goal of reading some of those book of the month books that are behind me. I'm trying to get caught up a bit um, and not let them pile up. So that would really help me if I was able to get this read in February. The pitch for this book is that Addie LaRue is a girl who people forget about when they see her and then turn away and they like forget that she ever existed. So you could have a conversation with her and then um, go about your day and not remember the conversation at all. And that's like her curse. Um, it sounds like a cool premise and we'll see what happens from there. The next book I've actually already started and I love it already. It's a bit of a five star prediction for me, I think. And that's My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jody Meadows. There's three authors. This follows Jane Grey, who um, you would know if you were familiar with Tudor, dynasty at all, um, King Henry VIII and then Prince Edward. And from what I know of history, I'm pretty sure things don't end well for Jane Grey. So I'll be curious to see how they spin this in like a comical way. This book is really funny so far. I'm about two chapters in and it was funny. I was actually listening to this on audiobook this morning while doing my morning exercise, walking, jogging, and I was like, looking like a crazy person probably because I was walking and jogging and like laughing to myself. So sorry to all my neighbors who now think that I'm insane, but it's already hilarious. It's my kind of humor. It's both smart and stupid. I love stupid humor and also smart humor, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. Maybe I am insane. And I'm actually buddy reading this with Berna from Berna's Bookish Adventures. I love Berna. She is the sweetest person. Go check out her channel if you don't know Berna. She'll be linked down below as well. 
I love Berna. She's the only Turkish booktuber that I know and she's super cool. So we are buddy reading this together and I'm also including this as part of Historathon. I forgot to mention that as well. Historathon is happening and that's hosted by Amanda at the Curly Reader. So a read along, month long read along for historical fiction. Um, I'm excited because all the light you cannot see will count for that. So will My Lady Jane. And then I actually have one other book as well that I'm hoping to get to for Historathon. And that seems like a good enough segue to talk about The Library of Legends by Janie Chang. This is another one of my book of the month books. I do have an audiobook copy of this. So that gives me hope that I will get to this. This is set in China in the 30s. And maybe we need to read this together because I don't know if I can give you a good synopsis. So it says, when Japanese bombs begin falling on the city of Nanking, 19 year old Hu Leon, I shouldn't have started this because I'm gonna mispronounce all these names, so, so sorry. And her classmates at Minghua University are ordered to flee. Leanne and a convoy of students, faculty and staff must, must walk a thousand miles to safety, a journey marred by the constant threat of aerial attack. And it is not just the refugees who are at risk. The group has been entrusted with a priceless treasure, a 500 year old collection of myths and folklore known as the Library of Legends. That already sounds amazing. I'm not gonna read anymore. It sounds really cool. There's a friendship and a romance and a murder. Whoa. This was actually a book of the month pick for April of last year and I never got to it. So I'm very excited that Historathon is happening and it's giving me an excuse to get to this. So this next book I admit is lower priority for me right now. It's more of, um, it might carry over into March. I could see it carrying over into March because I just have some uh, big old books on this TBR. But that is Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. So I've actually read this before. Um, this would be a reread technically. I don't remember a lot. It's been years since I've read it. And to be honest, the first time around, I didn't love it. I think I three starred this book and I would like to try it again. Um, there's a few great opportunities for me to try it again. First of all, Jade from Bedtime Bookworm has a whole Wheel of Time Discord and I love how she's set it up because it's like read at your own pace. Um, there's really just no schedule and I love that because what you can do is just hop in that discord whenever you happen to get around to a wheel of time book and it's not a big deal you can just like hop in and hop out and I, I really appreciate that because I'm not going to read 14 books consecutively. <laughs> this is book one in a 14 book high fantasy series by Robert Jordan and I'm sure you know of it. There is a TV show coming out, I believe relatively soon. I would love to be able to watch that and to have some book background context for it as well. So I would like to read this. Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative is also reading this and she has a place on her Discord to talk about it. So if you would like to read it with Leslie um, and talk about it with her. And there's also Jade and a bunch of people that are talking about Wheel of Time right now over in that Discord. There's just a lot of ways to talk about this book with friends. I'm very curious to see as a more mature reader, am I going to like this? Am I going to feel the same way and give it three stars and feel just kind of middle of the road with it? I don't know. I'm trying to be realistic and realizing I'm probably not gonna finish this in February, but it would be cool to maybe start it at least in February at some point, and then if it carries into March, that's fine. Speaking of fantasy, if my audiobooks go according to plan, and if I have any time left in the month, which it's a short month, so it's not likely. This book is a big old maybe book for me, but I am interested in reading it this month, if possible, and that is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I don't know much about this, I barely know the premise, but it is the shelf space buddy read for the month of February and I have had a good time reading with that group and I would love to kind of keep up with what they're doing. Um, there is an audiobook version of this that I have access to on Scribd. So if I'm feeling like listening to something else after My Lady Jane and Library of Legends, I will hopefully be listening to this one. One more book that I am starting closer to maybe the end of February 
And this is for a read-along that I am sort of co-hosting. This is a Lent read-along. So if you are a person who participates in Lent and you would like to do this with us, I will link all the info down below. <laughs> Again, there's gonna be so much info in this description box, it's not even funny. But it's this one, it's some Spurgeon. So if you're interested in reading some Spurgeon with a wonderful group of people, we have my very good friend, Christy Lewis, of course. I read so much stuff with Christy. Of course she's involved. <laughs> Christy and Carla from Raised to Walk, who is a new channel to me and I'm super excited to get to know her better. And also Alan from the Library of Alexandria. We are doing this Lent read-along. So we are starting this on February 17th, which is the first day of Lent. And there is a schedule. I will link that down below. I will link a document with a calendar. Spurgeon, if you don't know, was a minister in the Victorian era and he, has quite a few publications and some of his like sermons also have been written down and preserved and he is just a really amazing speaker and communicator and writer. I personally have really enjoyed the morning and evening devotions but I've never read this. We are reading John Plowman's talks and we will have a live show discussion on this on April 3rd. Super excited to get into this devotional. Again, if you wanna participate, we would love for you to do this with us. It's super low key and spread out over the entirety of Lent. So hoping that you can join us for this. We'll see how much we can get to. Hopefully you can at least start all of them and then um, hopefully finish some as well. So I will have a long list of all kinds of links down in the description box. If you would like to participate in any of these, it's not too late, please jump in. Let me know what you are most excited to read this February. And also, what is your favorite type of Valentine's Day candy? I would love to know. I am a sugarholic, so give me some candy recommendations, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep reading great books, and until next time, bye-bye.